Hello and welcome back to the old golden black. Another routine win for the Wolves, 2-0 at home. Uh, some really good performances I thought today, particularly Ruben Neves. I thought last week against QPR he had one of his worst games, but I thought today he really made up for it and he had one of his best games. I thought he worked really, really hard. He covered lots of ground. Lots of good defensive work as well as the passes that he put forward as well. I thought he was fantastic and for me, he was my man of the match today. Possibly down to the new boots that he's got from Nike, which he keeps in the freezer alongside his fish fingers. In general play, Wolves were good. Wolves kept possession, controlled the game. An early goal from size from a corner and then controlling possession and stuff. From then on, it was really, really secure. And then a second goal from Bonatini again. Double figures now for the season already in November. Uh, so that's really, really good as well. First win in November for Wolves as well since 2013 when they beat Tranmere back in the League One season. So that's another sort of monkey that we've got off our backs as well. In fear of being called negative, I thought that today's performance, we really let Fulham off the hook. I think 2-0 for them flatters them because we battered them. We absolutely smashed them in terms of possession, in terms of chances that we created, but we just failed to make the scoreline mirror the performance that we put in. I don't know what it, what it was, but there was a couple of times that we had two on one and, you know, Bonatini had a couple of chances that he should have put away and Jota had a chance where he sort of had his feet in a muddle at the back post where he could have easily put it away. I think the keeper just got a touch on it from a Bonatini header from a corner and it sort of left him uh, unbalanced. Also, this is something that I think needs to be mentioned, but Cavaliero for me is a tier below the other players that we've got now. Last season, I think he looked much better than any player on the pitch because of the quality of players that we had. But now, some of his, some of his decisions and some of his uh, balls into the box are not as good as Jotters or Costas or Neves. It's making him look not quite as good as he did last season. I don't know. I don't know whether it's just a blip. He doesn't seem to have reached his form from last season so far. Let me know what you think. Personally, I think he could do better. But on the whole, I'm really happy with the Wolves at the moment. Nuno seems very content despite the uh, news over the last couple of days with the Everson job, but he's created an atmosphere and a culture that I talked about yesterday that I'm confident is going to bring success to Wolverhampton Wanderers. I also think that he's very pragmatic. I thought that Despite being 2-0 up at half-time, I think the fans wanted us to go and score 3 or 4. He knew that we had to keep the game secure, considering the game against Preston a couple of weeks ago where we almost threw away a three-goal lead. He knew that we had to keep it tight, keep possession, keep on top of it, and we didn't give we didn't give Fulham a sniff in the second half. And that's down to his management. And we move on now. Little international break. Ruben Neves being called up to the Portuguese full squad. Massive, massive congratulations to him. And hopefully we'll come back in a couple of weeks' time for the game against Reading and have another positive result there. Let me know what you thought of today's game in the comments down below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for a little sort of mid-season review of uh, the game so far. So thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.